Hello guys, so today I am actually going to be filming the November Owl Crate unboxing. So first, I would like to just explain why I have been gone for so long. It wasn't intentional, but um, I actually started to not pay attention to some of my classes, which ended up in me not making the best grades. So I needed to really focus on school and um, just dedicate time to studying and schoolwork and homework and everything like that. But I do plan on being back. I'm gonna try my best to upload once a week and especially during Christmas time. Um, or the holiday season, I will definitely try my hardest to do that. But for today, I'm just going to be doing the November Owl Crate unboxing. And I will say, disclaimer, I have already opened this box. I have already seen everything that's inside of it. Um, so my reactions aren't going to be like the first time seeing them. But I do have to say this is probably one of the best Owl Crate boxes that I've ever received slash scene. Um, everything in here was totally beautiful and I will show you right now. So first off, this is what the spoiler card looks like. It is so beautiful and the theme of um, November is Through the Enchanted Forest and of course this is a spoiler card but this is probably one of my favorite spoiler cards because it kind of has just like a magical creature and like a a snow forest princess. I don't know, just super pretty. Totally encompasses everything that's in this box. So the first thing that you actually pull out of the box is a blanket and I cannot fit it in this entire screen but I will put a picture right here. It is the most, one of the prettiest blankets I've ever seen. It is inspired by the Cruel Prince. It is an Owl, Owl Crate exclusive and it was designed by Bookmarked, Bookmarked Tattoos and the artwork was obviously copyrighted by um, Holly Black. So it's just super comfy and um, it just fits the forest theme so wonderfully and yeah so I'll, th I'll throw up a little, let's see, <laughs> I don't know how well everyone will be able to see this, but this is what it looks like. It's not, it's not huge, but it's not small, you know, it's, it's a good size for a throw blanket. So the next thing that I see in here and once again, I have already opened it, <laughs> but it's an Owl Crate exclusive and it's created by Juniper and Ivy Designs. And um, I didn't know this, but every November Owl Crate includes a themed ornament for Christmas. And this one was so pretty. It is um, a quote from the Raven Boys and it says, trees in your eyes, stars in your heart. And this is what it looks like. And it has like a light blue, um, cord on it to hold it up like this and it's just so pretty it's like an engraved wood and I do have a little Christmas tree up here so I'm definitely going to put that on there but this is so pretty I might have said that was from the Raven Boys but I meant it's from like the Raven Cycle I'm actually pretty sure it's from the Raven the Raven King I'm pretty sure don't quote me on that but I'm pretty sure so the next thing that I pulled out was um, this sticker pack from Pip Stickers by Pip Sticks. And this is such an appropriate theme for um, the theme this month because it is through the Enchanted Forest. So there's little mushrooms and an owl and like crystals and a unicorn and some trees. It's just super pretty. And then on, and I like to do a lot of journaling so that was really cool for that but um, on the back they actually have like some owl crate stickers and like bookish bookish themed stickers which is also very cool so this next thing is I thought was going to be my favorite out of the box but you'll see that next <laughs> um, but it came in this little brown packaging and I love that they're wrapping everything because it you know kind of feels like Christmas <laughs> but this is probably the prettiest bookmark I've ever seen in my life. It says there was a song in the there was a song in this forest too, but it was a savage song, whispering of madness and tearing and rage. Naomi Novik. So it's this 
beautiful like deep purple and there's a tree on it and it's shimmer and it's a very hard metal and it has this purple tassel and this was created by her paper world and this is definitely going to be used soon I also am not in the best reading mood <laughs> this past couple of months just because I have had to focus on school so much so I've barely got any reading done but I plan to start again because I go on break in about a week and a half and I have like about a whole month um, of school off so I will definitely be planning to read a lot more because all I'll be doing is reading and work so that's what I plan on doing but yes this was a super super awesome item this is like so nice quality everything in this box is so nice quality it's really awesome so this next item honestly blew my mind um i saw that they were including it a, a while ago but i forgot so when i opened the box and saw this i was like oh my gosh so this is a magical monthly reading planner look how thick it is first of all and it has just like a forest theme around it has like berries and flowers and then on the back it's a quote by neil gaiman and basically, this is just a planner that you use to keep track of your reading. And what I really like about it, well, I'll kind of do a little flip through. So the, the second page, the first name you can put your name on and like this belongs to. But the second page is this bookshelf that you color in and label your favorite books, which I thought was so cool. Um, and there's a book wish list and a... And a monthly TBR which is so cool and this is what I think is the coolest thing is that it doesn't have any specific months so as you can see the month is blank and so are the numbers so you can just put um, start on whatever month you want and just kind of keep it going each month or if you skip a month you know it doesn't really matter let's see And they have a whole section for book reviews, so you can put um, the title, author, genre, date started, date finished, pages, rating, thoughts, physical book, ebook, or audiobook. They have a favorite quotes page and a monthly wrap up page. So that's so awesome. And they have a lot of pages just for notes. And this, I mean, this is really special. This is something that will definitely get a lot of use by everyone in the book community, I believe. So this was really something awesome to include into the box. And for my personal planner, I just bought the um, Amanda Rach Lee planner who she's like really famous for doing like bullet journal videos. And um, I love doing bullet journal videos or bullet journals, um, but I always just kind of lose track of it because it takes a lot to like make all the spreads and do everything like that. So um, hers is actually, it's a planner and they're pre-drawn, pre but they, ha it's like black and white. So you can color it in yourself and they have like mood trackers, habit trackers, and then just like weekly spreads, which I think is really awesome. So, um, yeah, I don't know why I just went on a rant about that, but, um, I'm really excited to get that planner, but this one will be specifically for reading, which is also really cool because I need to get back into reading. So next it is this, um, I think it's like a promo book thing. So it says once upon a time. Once upon a time, I dared to dream of a strange, lovely world where I belonged. So it's like this red, glowy. It says, a lush and thrilling story of sacrifice, secrets, and star-crossed love. So it's amber, dusk, amber and dusk, and diamond and dawn. So these are beautiful covers. And I don't think it says when they're coming out, but very cool. So next... It is the pen. Let's take it out. This was honestly one of the prettiest pens that, in my opinion, that we've received. But it, it is this diamond and it has like a teal color in the background, like a teal or like a darker blue. And it has a moth on it and it's just so pretty. I believe that's moth. It's either moth or like a butterfly, but 
This is just a really pretty pen. It's time for the book. So this month's um, book that they included was Winter Wood by Shay Earnshaw. I believe that's how you say it. But this is honestly one of the prettiest covers that I have ever seen. <laughs> um, the original one, I believe, is all black um, with, I think, the same color font, maybe? I'm really not sure. But this is so stunning. I'm going to open it up so we can see everything about it. So, of course, you have a letter from the author if you want to pause it and read it. And... This is what it has, and the best part is it has dark blue sprayed edges. So pretty. And honestly, I know I just said that was the best part, but wait till you see what's under the dust jacket. Can you, I mean like, oh my gosh. It's beautiful, it's stunning. I've never seen, like, it just, it literally blows my mind how pretty this is. Um, it just really encompasses, like, the snow and the, the wintry woods, which is what this whole month's theme was about. But, and it's also signed by the author, which is always so cool. And I cannot wait to read this. I'll read the back to you. It says, the Walker women of Fur Haven have always lived in the, in the woods. Some say the first Walker woman came from the forest, her bones built of roots and thorns as she sprouted up from the ground. This is where their legacy began, a strange, a strange and mythical legacy rooted in rumors and folklore. Over the years, there have been many tales of Walker women. Most have been lost, stories forgotten, fables and myths, myths washed away with the spring rains. This story is one such tale. It was once scattered like autumn leaves buried in the soil, stitched there until it arose, until something stirred it loose, until the forest shuddered and opened its eyes. <laughs> it sounds so good. Like, I just... Oh, I was, like, flipping through it. And there's just, like, a big page of black in here. That's so pretty. Um, I cannot wait to read this. I will probably read this really soon. Um, and I think all that's left is the... Is like the little pamphlet it comes with. So this is the original cover, which is all black, and this is the white one. I personally prefer the white one just because I think it looks more whimsical. And... Yeah, so... This is the, um, I think it's like the Instagram photo box challenge. It doesn't really have to be Instagram, but it can be a lot of things. Twitter, you know. Um, yeah, so, oh, there's also the theme for December, which I'm also thrilled about. And the December theme is Tales of Trickery. So this is going to be super cool. It says, every December box will contain an exclusive book sleeve designed by Chatty Nora. So it says, to the stars who listen and the dreams that are answered. I'm not sure if we're getting this specific one, but I'm sure we'll get one similar. And yeah, so that is, that was all that was in the November box. And this was honestly such, such a cool box. Um, I cannot wait to get the December one as well. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy my content, please subscribe. And I promise, I promise, I promise that I will have a lot more videos coming soon. Um, as I go on break, you know, I will start reading more, maybe do some reading vlogs. I'm not really sure yet. But um, yeah, so please just subscribe if you want to see more of my content.